Hello everyone, I'm Sylvia Rissell, Applications Engineer with Dimensional Control Systems. I'm here to talk about a function called Measure Generator, which you might be able to use to uh, increase your speed of generating measure. We are looking at NX. I've got 3DCS loaded, and this is our three-button mouse model. As you can see, I don't have any measures yet, so let's use Measure Generator to create some. Uh, first, uh, here's where the drop-down that gets you measures, Measure Generator. Uh, you can see that Measure Generator defaults to the top-level assembly, but let's just check. Great. This is where I want my measures to show up. Uh, the first thing is I'd like to create some uh, nominal to point measures. Let's get everything set up for those. Uh, first, I would like those in the associated direction rather than X, Y, or Z. And according to my notes, my requirements are plus or minus 0.2 for the location of those points in our completed assembly. I do want those relative, and let me set up the prefixes and the description that's going to go with those point measures. All right, I've got everything I need here. Let's select the part. I am going to select the left cover. Now that I've selected the left cover, you can see that this is all of the points in the left cover, and I can select from them to tell uh, which one of these to create this measure for. Um, I've selected these six surface points on the outer curved surface of this, this cover. And I'm going to click Selected Add. And now these appear in my measure list. Now, if that's the only measures that I'm going to create for these, I can click Remove and they will be removed from the feature list, although you can see they're still here in the model navigator. Uh, you will also notice that no um, measures have been created yet in the model navigator. I'm just going to select all of these, make sure that they have, I have all my details correct, and click Apply. And here they are. We can see it. some measures labeled surface. And if I highlight them, that's showing us the points and the directions. All right, uh, the next measures that I want to create for this assembly are the gap measures between the um, top cover and the left cover. So let's set up our point-to-point -point measures. Um, in this case, I would like them to be in the X direction. I'm going to uncheck associated vector. And my notes say this is supposed to be max 1 and min 0. And I'm going to change this to absolute. So all of my gap measurements are going to have these uh, directions and specifications. Let's fix my prefix. Left gap. Now 
Now, let's select our points. Um, notice that I've got point point selected and select part is grayed out. So in this case, I need to select feature and this window pops up and says select points. And I have a couple of possibilities. One is to go to the graphics window and select my points. Um, the other is to go to the model navigator and select named points out of the window. Okay, so left cover gap number two to left cover gap number two, and there's number three and number three. So I can keep going selecting pairs and that will continue to select point-to-point uh, -point measures. If I stretch this window open, you'll be able to see exactly what the feature pairs are. And I'm going to select all of these. And click Selected Add. So here's the name, left gap, and then lists the points. All right, that's what I want here. I'm going to click Apply. And I'm going to remove these. And I have one more measure that I want to create. I would like to create a point-to-point -point flushness measure. So this is left flush. And that is associated vector. one point. There's the other. Selected add. Here's my list. All right, now I can hit apply and this will get created or I can hit OK and it will pop up a window asking if it wants to if I want to create this entire list. So I'm going to say yes, and let's take a look at what we've got. Check our work. All right, here's the assembled condition. I'm just going to highlight these so we can see where they are. There's all my point measures. Uh, you can see they're all in uh, no, the normal direction to the surface. And if I double click on one of these, here's the name, here's the description we put into the measure generator, here are my specs. And they're all going to be like that. Now let's take a look at our gap measurements. I've got a gap up here, a gap here, and a gap here. Here's the dialog box. There's the description I created. There's the range that we put in. And let's check the flushness. Top cover to left cover flush. All right, here's where I made the mistake. This is supposed to be plus or minus 0.5. Uh, the nice thing about the measure generator is if you put all the information in correctly, all of the measures you create will have the right values. If you get them wrong, they will all have the wrong values. Let's 
So I hope you find that the measure generator is a useful tool for uh, quickly and accurately creating measures for your model. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more um, walkthrough videos of 3DCS features, uh, take a look at 3DCS.com.